Hi, I'm Kirsty. I'm Jodie. And this is Tech Ball Talks. Right, let's go. Right, get on the table. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, hit the table. <laughs> Your knee collapsed there. Jodie, I've oh. got less power. Sorry. Right, I'm going to ask you a question now. Okay. So Jodie, you're just back from your 19s cap. cap. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great show. <laughs> One mil. <Yeah. laughs> right Jodie, how was your 19s cap? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did actually. It was a really positive week for the group. Um, preparing for the Euros at the end of October. Is that, um, who's in your group for the Euros? So we've got, oh, we've got Iceland, <laughs> Serbia and Belarus. So. A tough group, but one that we think we can get out of. Yeah, definitely. Um, and you also captained the team and scored. How was that? Yeah, obviously it's always nice to score but and represent your country, but being captain was that wee bit more special. Yeah, I bet your mum and dad were so proud, were they? Oh yeah, Jojo was out with the Jojo. camera. Yeah, Jojo would have had the camera there. My Shout dad was probably... Jojo. What? My dad was probably in tears. Oh, but your dad likes to be cry, doesn't he? Same yeah. as my dad. Yeah. Emotional guys. They cry together. Yeah. Um, obviously you got your first call up. Yes. I How was indeed. that? No, it was good. Um, I wasn't really expecting it to be honest. Um, I was at home because we had a few days off. So <laughs> What's I my was hip? just out of the soft play with my, my nephews um, and I got a phone call to ask uh, Pedro asked me to come, <laughs> to come in um, to the camp. So yeah, it was really good, uh, really good experience to see how everything works and train with all the girls. Um, and then obviously it was involved uh, in the squad on uh, against Belgium as well. So it was good, really enjoyed it. Obviously nice to have some familiar faces too. Yeah, um, obviously a few of the girls from the team and then I've played with some of the other girls as well before. So. It was good to get, it helped me, helped me settle in a little bit easier. Um, you had a lot of the Rangers girls there as well, didn't you? Yeah, a few familiar faces. How was that? Some. Mia. Oh, Mia. No, who else scored? Ailey scored as well, didn't Ailey you? Ailey scored a And Laura. Laura. Yep, and Laura scored. the Rangers girls. Yep, the Rangers Lead, girls were rocking. Leading the way. Um, the whole, just about the film squad was Rangers players anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. Just shows how good the, the youth are. Absolutely. Right, ready. Obviously before the international break as well, we had a positive three game week, scoring 24 goals um, <laughs> over the three games. How do you think we can use that and uh, build on that going, going forward for this next part of the season? Yeah, I think obviously 24 goals is obviously really good for a three game week. Um, but the most important <laughs> thing is the nine points uh, that we got in the three games that we did play were tough games. Uh, yeah. Obviously two were away to Dundee and Montrose, so they're always tough places to go. And um, yeah, it was just positive that we came out with maximum <laughs> points and obviously the 24 goals, as you mentioned. Yeah. With Kirsty think, scoring um, quite a few of them. Who, me? Yeah, you scored. Yeah, quite a few. Can't remember how many. Rio scored more though. Her name is Rio and she's scoring all the goals. goals. <laughs> Obviously, looking ahead to Sunday, <laughs> we've, got, oh, we've got Hearts in the Sky Sports Cup final, which we've got a good record in. So, what's your feelings ahead of this game? Yeah, we'll be confident going into the game, coming off the back of um, that successful three game week. But um, we know what Hearts, what threats Hearts pose. And obviously, the last time we played them, it was, uh, it was only 2 1 up at Orium, and they caused us quite a few a few problems at the end of the game as well so we'll definitely be looking at that game and trying to iron out a few of the, the problems that we had but I think for us um, it's a cup game they'll be up for it we need to be up for it and match that um, and I think if we can play the game our game plan in the way that we know that we can play I think we should we should uh, have hopefully a, a positive result on Sunday so obviously we are the holders of the Sky Sports Cup. Uh, we, we won it last year, beating Hibs 2-0 um, up at Tynecastle. It was such a good day, such a good occasion. Um, so do you, do you think there's a little bit of pressure on us or do you think 
From our point of view, like at Rangers, we obviously want to win all the trophies anyway. So, oops. Um, every game is is kind of pressured for us. Do you think? Yeah, to be fair, obviously playing at Rangers, you're expected to win trophies. Um, obviously, being the holders of the cup, everyone's want going to want to be. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going to want to beat us. Um, I think that the pressure's only a good thing um, for us. As I feel like we thrive under pressure. Yeah. It was such a good occasion as well. Yeah, especially at Tynecastle. At Tynecastle. We got a good crowd, the Union Bears came out and then to win it, I think, kind of Obviously, put the, the icing on the cake for us as well. You um, scoring the winner too. Well, I scored, yeah, Lizzie scored, Lizzie an, scored an screamer. Lizzie scored screamer. And then I came on and, and managed to get a goal as well. So, yeah, on a personal level, that was uh, it's a pretty good day for me. And then the after party. The after party was... Uh, was potentially even better than oh. winning the cup, to be yeah. honest. It was, a, it was a really good day and I think that we need to take that from last season and use it as motivation um, to go on and, and do the same this year. And obviously the cup um, is sponsored, the main sponsor is, is Sky Sports and last season the final we were on Sky Sports for the first time. How, how good do you <laughs> think? <done> oh, <laughs> that's nearly an injury, <laughs> nearly getting in trouble off my um, How good? Is it that obviously games now in our league are getting are getting played on Sky Sports? How yeah, good is it for the women's game yeah. in the country? It's only a good thing for the women's game, I think. The more coverage we get, the more oh god, this is going awful. The more coverage we get, the better the game's going to be. The obviously the publicity of the game's improving. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'll be the ball girl, guys. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Please don't put that. <laughs> Um, it's only a good thing and uh, well, obviously you see more and more games this year especially um, being on Sky Sports so I think it's only a good thing for the league. Um, people turning on their TVs to women's football in Scotland, um, yeah. obviously the quality of football is getting better as you can see with this tech ball. As you can see from today. I think as well like obviously you seen how positive the World Cup was, so um, the fact that Sky and BBC and stuff yeah. are covering our game so often now is is great, and it's only going to help the game grow. Um, more more people watching it in their houses, more people coming out to to stadiums, and yeah, hopefully we get the chance again this season to play on Sky Sports and be in the final. Well done, Jodie.